Hi everybody, this is Emily from the NetZoom team, here to talk to you about managing and monitoring IP cameras in NetZoom. NetZoom includes tools to monitor and manage IP cameras, allowing you to take charge of your data center security from directly within your DSIM solution. From monitoring camera feeds to setting motion sensors and recording video, NetZoom makes it more convenient than ever to keep a watch over your own data center. In this video, we'll go over adding IP cameras to NetZoom, as well as monitoring and managing camera feeds. First, let's log into NetZoom. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then enter your username and password. IP cameras tracked by NetZoom must be added to a NetZoom IP camera server. IP cameras and servers can be added and configured in NetZoom using the IP camera feature found under the Enterprise Configuration tab of the Administration menu. To add an IP camera server, click the single plus icon at the bottom of the IP cameras pane. A blank form will appear in the Details pane. Enter a name for your server. Then configure your server by adding the server's URL, streaming URL, username and password, and enter a path to save recordings and the number of days recordings should be kept before being automatically deleted. Click the Save button when you are finished configuring your IP camera server. Once your camera server has been saved, you can test it by clicking the Test button. As you can see, the camera server is showing up as connected, which is great. You'll also need to apply your server to a site or sites. Select the camera server you want to apply and notice the Apply to Sites pane. Check the sites you want to apply it to and click the Save button. Cameras added to this server will appear in the IP camera monitoring features when working in the assigned sites. Now that we've added our IP camera server and assigned it to a site, let's add some cameras. NetZoom allows you to add your IP cameras to their camera servers in two ways. First, you can select the IP camera server and click the Discover button. This will automatically add any IP cameras that can be discovered by the server. In this case, we have our two cameras, office floor and network room. You can also manually add a camera by clicking on the server you want to add it to and clicking the double plus icon to add a camera. A blank form will appear in the Details page. Enter a name for your IP camera and then configure your camera by adding the IP address, RTSP port, username, password, and a serial number. If the camera is capable of recording, ensure that recording is set to on. And if the camera uses motion sensitivity and detection to automatically record, these settings can also be configured here. Click the Save button when finished, and the IP camera will be saved and added to the server. But since we already have both of our cameras on here or discovered, we'll skip that step. Last but not least, we need to authorize users to view our IP cameras. This allows us to make sure only the right people have access to the security feed. Navigate to the Authorize feature and select the IP camera you want to authorize. In the Check to Assign to Users pane, Check the users, roles, or user groups you want to allow to view the camera feed. Click the Save button when finished. Now that we've added our cameras, camera servers, and authorized our cameras to the appropriate users, let's view our camera feed. Navigate to the Facility menu and select the Monitor feature under the IP Camera Feature Group. As you can see, a list of IP cameras, servers, and their respective IP cameras appears. This will show any IP camera servers that are assigned to this respective site and any cameras that are part of that server. If we select the IP camera server, the camera feed will appear. If we select an individual camera, we can see that feed in full view. NetZoom allows you to access certain controls for IP cameras when applicable, including tilt and pan, zoom, and motion sensing. You can also record IP camera feeds by clicking the record button. Let's start a recording now. As you can see, once we click the record button, we can see that it's recording by reading down here. When we're finished recording, we simply click stop recording using the same button. Recordings will automatically be saved to the file path specified in the IP camera server's settings. Your IP camera can also be set to automatically record using motion sensing here. IP camera recordings saved in NetZoom can be managed using the Manage feature. 
This feature will show a list of all recordings of cameras on this particular site. So for example, the recording we just made can be seen right here. This feature also includes controls to play a selected recording, download it onto your workstation, save a recording to exclude it from automatically being purged, and manually deleting a recording. That covers the basics of managing and monitoring IP cameras using NetZoom. Please check out our other videos for more information on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom for your own data center, visit netzoom.com to schedule a free demo.